25 million years ago, a carnivorous animal turned from prowling the primordial forest and focused his predatory skills on the shores of an ancient sea. This new hunting ground offered quarry that was no match for the voracious hunter's powerful jaws and ripping teeth. He and his offspring flourished. Eons passed, and this life form began to change. A new animal slowly emerged from the original mold. Across countless generations, one species followed another, each better suited for the challenges of an aquatic environment, each more perfectly adapted to life in the water. And today, that denizen of the seas is... That denizen of the seas is our harbor seal, Bernie who is a member of the True Seal family and unfortunately will not be joining us this morning. Just like humans, sea lions and seals have days where they don't feel as up to doing stuff and so today we're going to move on to the main portion of our show. Are you guys excited to see some sea lions? Good to hear. How are you all doing this morning? Great! Well, welcome to the Aqua Theater. My name is Andy. It'll be my pleasure today to introduce you to our California sea lions and to their trainers. Now, sea lions are a part of a complex web of life. Today, we're going to be talking about this web as well as how you and I fit into it. And speaking of sea lions, how about a warm welcome for our California sea lion, Otis, and his trainer, Janine. Otis is 16 years old, and he weighs over 400 pounds. Yeah, Otis was born at an aquarium, but his wild relatives can be found living up and down the Pacific coast. Now, sea lions are very social animals. They can be found living in large groups called rookeries. Now, rookeries can be pretty noisy places. Males like Otis will use this vocalization to announce and defend their territory. Females, on the other hand, will vocalize for a different reason. They'll vocalize to identify their pups on crowded beaches. She will vocalize, and her pup will return her call. Now another way sea lions identify one another is through a behavior called a breath exchange. Now this looks a lot like a sea lion kiss. Sea lions are members of a larger group of animals called the pinnipeds, which includes the walruses, the true seals, and the eared seals. Now, I know all of you know what a walrus looks like. But some people have a bit of trouble telling the difference between true seals and eared seals, so let me give you some hints. First, take a look at the sides of their heads. If you see an external ear flap, then it's an eared seal just like our sea lions. Eared seals also have long front flippers, which they use to pull themselves through the water, just like we do with our arms when we go swimming. Now their hind flippers are used for steering but can rotate underneath their body so they can walk on all fours. This makes them extremely mobile on land, which is a great... Hey! What's going on? tell you about true seals now. True seals, on the other hand, have much shorter front flippers and their hind flippers can't rotate underneath their body so when they come up on land to walk they sort of have to crawl. Like a caterpillar or an inchworm. Now sea lions are fast and agile and watch this, they have very flexible necks. 
Now this is a great adaptation to help them catch all the fast moving fish that make up their diet. Now all of these traits make sea lions superb predators, but they don't always play the role of the hunter. Sometimes they are the prey, and there's another animal out there, Scott and Quarry, just waiting for the right moment to strike. The sea lion's primary predator is... The Great White Shark! Oh, Onus, relax! That was just Osborne having a bit of fun! But Osborne, this is nothing to joke about. Sharks are in serious trouble right now. Due to overfishing, many populations of sharks have decreased by as much as 80%, and as a result, they soon die out. Hey! Hey! You guys! Okay, okay, this may sound pretty good from a sea lion's point of view, but in the long run, this isn't good for any of us. I mean, when the number of shark populations fall, nature's balance is upset, and the entire food chain is threatened. Aww. So you see, strange as it sounds, we need sharks. In fact, all species rely on one another in order to survive. In the wild, sea lions spend a large portion of their time avoiding predators and chasing prey. They use a method of swimming called porpoising, where they leap out of the water, take a deep breath, dive back in, and continue on with their forward momentum.